there is Sheba. Sheba is a snouted cobra. And I'm going to open the door right beside this sweet, loving puppy dog. And I'm going to put in a rat. Which I'm thinking Sheba will like when I do it. on the chase. See if I can get this going on. Oh, the chase is on. I hear the squeaking. <clears throat> it wasn't me squeaking, it was the round squeaking, honest. See how fast that little snake moves. It's so different than some of the uh, ambush predator snakes. Like gimboom vipers, and uh, as you can see down lower in a different enclosure, there is a puff adder. Now, puff adders they uh, are more of an ambush predator, they'll sit there and she'll wait for that prey to step right in front of her face, then she'll strike it. But with cobras, like a snouted cobra, a banded snouted cobra which are my favorites they'll chase after the thing so I don't think it's been I don't think it's been bit yet there we are now I think it's been bit I heard another squeak and if it did get bit it won't be too long and that thing's gonna come shooting out of there because it's not gonna be feeling comfortable there it is it's not feeling comfortable anymore because it's got some venom flowing through it and the neurotoxic venom in these cobras it doesn't hurt as bad as the cytotoxic and uh, other types of venoms from the viper type snakes but it paralyzes them and it kills them pretty quick it looks like she knocked that sucker out pretty quick So that's cool. And Sheba loves to eat. Now here lately you haven't seen much of her, but I've been feeding her a lot of frozen thought, which for YouTube's sake and for the sake of being able to grow a channel, and I'm going to have to start doing less live feedings. I'm going to still do my live feedings, but I'm just going to have to, uh, I don't know how to work with YouTube on live feedings. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out because a lot of people like to watch this kind of the way they, they like to watch the natural way they do it and if you're wanting to learn how snake venom works on on uh, prey watching them strike a, a dead prey isn't teaching you anything you're not learning anything by watching them strike a dead mouse and then eat a dead mouse but there's a lot to be learned when you watch them strike a live one. And that's why I think it's a... Uh, I wish that they would loosen up on that a little bit. Though the problem with loosening up on that is some people are taking it to the extreme. And they'll put in this gigantic guinea pig that they know there's no way that that snake can swallow. But they just want to watch them kill it. And they want to watch the struggle and they want to watch that violence. And then later on, they'll cut the video off because they know their snake can't swallow it. And that's probably, it's, it's like that. Those kinds of reasons that YouTube is probably cut. But when you put in a, a prey item that the snake can kill and eat, and there's a reason for it, other than just watching the violent act, uh, well, I, I don't see a problem with that. I think they should decipher the difference between a live feeding that's for a purpose other than just the violent some people get pleasure a lot people like dog fights I think people that like dog fights should man I don't I, I don't agree with that to me that's just wrong everything about that is wrong 
uh, there's nothing there's no good purpose in that other than the entertainment of watching some vicious horrible scene and I'm not into that but watching something kill and eat something that's a whole different story if there's a reason behind it now and there's a lot to learn like you can learn on where this snake just struck that uh, rat and how quickly it died you can learn from that you see that that rat died quickly now sometimes if she would have struck him somewhere near the back on or just a leg or something the the rat wouldn't have died as quickly it would have taken longer for the venom to take effect so there's there's reasons to be able to watch this these kinds of live feeding videos that YouTube shouldn't be so strict about I do understand not putting vid dog fights or putting on something that you're just watching it just for the violence of it where there's no proper purpose of it there's the, they even t they let the snake kill it and then they they know the snake can't eat it so they cut their video off and they pull those prey item out and that's just wrong people you know you can watch that kind of stuff and then still watch the snake eat it like watch see what what Sheba's doing right there she's fixing to eat that and there's a good reason for that that's how it would work in nature that's how it would work so there's no reason that, that we shouldn't be able to watch a live feeding video like this one What a beautiful snake. If y'all been watching since the beginning, you would have seen that when I first got Sheba, she was about the size of a pencil, maybe twice as long as a pencil, but no bigger around than a pencil. And she wasn't, she didn't have the bands on her. I wasn't even sure if she was going to be banded like that. And now, she's about four foot long and definitely has her bands. She's turned into a beautiful lady love my little Sheba and in a year or two I've got her husband over there his name is Pharaoh they're gonna make little Shebas and Pharaohs see how that see now there's a reason for that we didn't just put that rat in there just so that we can watch the violent part of it just to get our jollies that's not the reason I do this I don't do this just so I can watch it. Matter of fact, I feel sorry for the rat when this happens. I don't like watching it. Some people get their jollies from it, but I'm not one of them. And I know that a lot of people that are watching my video, they're probably saying, what? Because they like to watch the violence just for the violence. But I like to watch the whole thing from beginning to end. And she'll make short work of it. That's not a very big rat for her. She'll swallow that one pretty quick.
So there's Sheba, my beautiful snouted cobra. Doing what she would have done in the wild. I don't do it for my jollies. I do it because I love my animals. And they gotta eat. And some of the best nutrition you can give that snake right there is a live rat. And so I'm going to take good care of my babies. And I'm going to give them live rats. Alright. Love y'all. Bye.